Welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we give you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Friday, May 8, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 24,045.40 basis points with a market capitalization of 12.531 trillion naira in 4,320 deals, meaning it depreciated by 1.27% for the last trading day of the week. Investors gained 753.59 billion naira week on week as NSE ASI inches up by 4.45% to close the week positive. At the close of trading, market recorded 15 gainers to 17 losers. The top three gainers for equity were Fitzin Healthcare, Custodian Investment, and Nigerian Brewery, while UACN Property Development Company, University Press, and MTN Nigeria Communications were among the top losers. FBN Holdings, Guarantee Trust Bank, and Zenith Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the FMDQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.78 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 386 naira 93 kobo to a dollar, while the I and E FX rate opened at 386 naira 36 kobo to a dollar and closed at 387 naira 25 kobo to a dollar. For the NASD OTC market, the NSI closed at 700.35 basis points with a market capitalization of 514.46 billion. The volume traded was 4,475 and 483,300 in terms of value traded in two deals executed for the day. You can also check for updates on the impact of COVID-19 on markets and the economy on the Corona Watch Central dashboard showing on the screen. For the highlights, the Nigerian Stock Exchange has enjoyed significant rallies in recent weeks, even amidst the global coronavirus pandemic. As the exchange sustains remote trading, free flow of information, and vibrant market activity, the index has accelerated 16.39% in the past month and ranks second in Bloomberg's best performing indexes within the period. The total market capitalization at the NSE now stands at 12.6 trillion naira as at 7th May 2020. Several factors have been identified as the reason for this rally, including oil price recovery, the gradual easing of the lockdown in several economies, and the expectation of dividend payments attracting investors to blue chip stocks. The sectors that have enjoyed significant attention at this time include banking, industrial and consumer goods sectors. Furthermore, activity in the equities market has largely been driven by local investors. Analysts have attributed this largely to cheap valuations and mis-elevated system liquidity driven by maturities from OMO bills and low yields on fixed income securities, Investors are, however, advised to adopt portfolio diversification when investing in the capital markets to manage risk across asset classes and smooth out the returns of the investment portfolio as a whole. For the key market and economic events to watch, the Economy and Politics Coronomics Discuss on Web TV will focus on post-COVID-19, increasing funding and rethinking business models for MSMEs in Nigeria, with Mr. Ayo Bankole, Convener Lagos SME Bootcamp by 9 a.m. Also, the market review program will feature Mr. Akim Oyewale, CEO Stanbic IBTC nominees that will discuss COVID-19, opportunities for boosting investor education in Nigeria from 10 a.m. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. Connect with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports and to watch a live stream of the weekday Corona Watch programs. The ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, Thank you for watching and do stay safe.